There are countless Android launchers out there, but none can quite outperform my favorite in terms of features and customization. Over my years of using Android devices, I've grown to absolutely love and remain 100% loyal to Nova Launcher Prime. One, because of its unlimited customization options. Two, because the developers are always on point and literally rolls out new features like crazy. And three, because of its solid performance. So today the Nova Launcher Prime 5.0 update rolled out and it includes some really awesome features. Keep in mind if you don't fancy paying $5 for Launcher, there's always the free version, but the paid version is more than worth it. Trust me. So the first of those features that rolled out today are the new Android 7.1 shortcuts. Not every single app is supported right now, but for those that aren't, you'll see the normal options for a long press. Those that do, simply show you the available actions you can take in that application similar to the way 3D Touch works. This rolled out on Nougat with the Pixel, but this is a prime example, get it, prime, <laughs> this is a prime example of what I meant by the developers always being on point. This feature is currently available on Nova Launcher Prime, even if you're on Marshmallow. So this is how my app drawer currently looks. But with the latest update, if you fancy a pixel style launcher, check this out. If I head into settings, app and widget drawers, and turn on my swipe to open and disable the card background, now I have not only what looks extremely similar to the pixel launcher, but I can even change the background color and transparency, icon size, and even the grid of the app drawer. So moving on to what I use the most are the gestures. I currently use a swipe up for app draw, yes, even before the pixel launcher was a thing, a swipe down for notifications, a double tap to enable and disable the scrollable dock, just in case I want to use a home screen setup with no icons on the screen itself, a two finger swipe up to enable and disable the status bar for when I want that extremely clean look, and a two finger swipe down to lock the display. However, my only gripe was that I couldn't do these two finger swipes with one hand. That is until now. With 5.0, there are two new gestures. So now I can double tap and swipe up or double tap and swipe down, which I used to replace those previous two finger gestures, so now I have those freed up for something else. If you didn't know about Nova Launcher before, some of the other features it offers is the ability to customize the home screen and app draw grid as crazy as you'd like, enable widget overlapping, customize horizontal scroll effects similar to barrel for jailbroken iDevices, change the appearance of folders, select a dark or light status bar for the home screen, and the possibilities are just endless. If you're intrigued, I highly recommend you checking it out with the free version, and once you like it, just get the paid version for all the features. And don't worry, this isn't a sponsored video or anything, I just absolutely love this launcher. Although, if the developers are looking to hook a guy up with a sponsor, I'm here, you know, wink, wink. But quick note, if you're interested in the icon pack I'm using, it's called Glim Dark. It's just there on the Play Store like normal, you can just download it. And as for the wallpaper, I grabbed any photo with the color scheme I wanted, and used the blue one app to create this effect. Shout out to James CL on Twitter for referring me to this app. I had no idea it existed, but now I've grown to absolutely love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, download it and start tweaking your device. And please take some screenshots and tweet them at me. I'm at TechSmash on all social networks. I'll be looking out for them. But thank you guys so much for watching.